Okay, the, uh, the book that I related to most was 31 Brothers and Sisters, which was not written by an African-American woman. Um, her name was Reba Paith Mursky, and it was written in the late 50s, but I got it when I was about like 11, and it was about a Zulu daughter's chief and how she goes on the hunt with her father, the chief, and, and, all the, and all of the men. No women were allowed, but she was allowed, and she proved herself brave. And I gotta tell you though, the thing that I liked most about it was how they drew her. She was, uh, she was dark skinned, um, she had short hair, and, um, and, she, and to me, she just looked brave. And I thought, wow, that looks like me. So um, I, I love that. Um, I think it's so important uh, to have diversity in YA books because everybody needs to know that they are part of the world, that they are here, that they matter. Um, and so the more, uh, more people, more different kinds of characters, different depictions of characters that you can see, the more of a more actual picture of the human kind of, you know, the whole human makeup. Um, that we all have, and then we be a you can you can relate to something that 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 character relates to. Maybe there is an experience that only that you felt like only you had. You know, my mother used to burn my ears whenever uh, she did my hair, and this was way back in the '60s. And she used to take a hot comb and um, and um, put it on the stove and then fry my hair with it. And she'd all, she was always in a hurry, so she'd burn my ears. Well, I thought I was the only person that went through that. Um, and, and everybody seems to have their own kind of hair stories. And, and within each culture, we have different stories. So I think it's very important that we're able to share different stories so that A, we can see ourselves depicted, uh, we know that we're not alone and that our stories matter, but that also that even outside of the culture, people still relate to the human part of the story. Uh, my mom used to burn my hair with a curling iron. Oh. Right, like that's part of the ear, right there. Like, get yeah, it. There you go, the ear, the ear. <laughs> you didn't listen to me, I'll make you listen. <laughs> <laughs>